Whenever there is a decon response, there is always a decon team leader. This is the person who is in charge of that particular response. It may or may not be the decon team program manager, and ideally, it is any potential member of the decon team. Ideally, you have people cross-trained so they can fill different roles. So the decon team leader may be the first person who shows up who is properly operations trained, and that role could be transferred to someone else later in the response. But their responsibility is to evaluate what is needed for decon, determine how many people will be needed in the decon team response, and assign roles. Now, in a small response, there may be multiple roles assigned to one person. In a larger response, you may need many more people. We have discussions separately on how many people you need for what kind of response. But it is the decon team leader's role to determine who is going to be assigned to which roles. And again, ideally, you have a fair amount of cross-training so that there is not always one person that fulfills one role. So for example, you may be somebody, there may be someone who is fulfilling the safety role and is also fulfilling the logistics role if it's a very small response. In a larger response, you need those to be separate people. But the decon team leader has to be able to assign those roles.